In this video, I will be trying to build the extreme lounge coaster in one minute, ten minutes, and one hour. And the one minute starts right now. Okay, so let's of course build a very quick station, and we're actually going to build one with a lounge, which I don't think I've really done with the one minute coaster. So we're just going to go up in a hill and into a very cool looking turn. I have, as always, not really a plan with these roller coasters, but that's always the fun of it. So we're just going to sort of try, maybe just continue this turn, and we're going to go to the side this is looking very bad and i think you're going to hit your head there well um i don't care we have around 30 seconds left and so not too bad you know what we're going to add an inversion over here not smart probably to do but we're going to try and see what it does okay 20 seconds so that means we need to try and go into the brakes which um yes it's going to be fun i'm going to build from the other way around and i'm just going to add one break and now i somehow need to try and connect this which oh no we have five seconds left okay Okay, try to connect that and there we go so if we ignore the end the rest of the coaster doesn't look too bad i hope it's actually going to make it let's test it and let's have a look on how we're going to go so the lounge itself is not that bad it's quite nice you have a nice turn probably going to hit your head there definitely then we have this inversion and then we have this part ending is a bit rough but the inversion is actually quite all right and the lounge too for the rest um yeah let's not talk about this let's go to the 10 minute coaster and instead of a lounge i think i'm actually going to make a chain lift for this roller coaster so we're going to change it up a little bit. I know it's of course the extreme lounge coaster, but I'm going to make a lift hill with it. Since there is like this roller coaster in real life, I think it's like component, which also has a lift hill. That's maybe a bit too steep. So let's try to do something like, yeah, like this seems to be good enough. And I'm going to try and make somewhat of a drop that like goes straight down and then twists, which I have not really made ever. And I think it's quite difficult to make. So I'm definitely going to add a bit of an offset. And what well, means that we're going to go down and I'm just going to rotate this track i don't know how this looks but it sort of does what i want it to do and then we're just going to reset the pivot and we're going to go straight okay that does not look too bad not gonna lie all right then we're just going to extend this and probably go into like a immol man or at least try to do something like that so we're going to continue this let's put that to 180 degrees of course we make sure we don't go higher than the lift otherwise the coast does not make it which would be kind of dumb if we do that and we're going to actually keep it upside down down pretty long and then we're going to like rotate it which sort of is like this Vekoma sort of style like this coast is inspired by the Vekoma model so we're also going to take some inspiration from how it would go in real life i think this seems to be pretty all right i don't have any clue of what i'm doing with the layout we're just going to piece some things together and hope at the end of the 10 minutes it's somewhat good there we go that actually looks pretty cool not gonna lie we're just going to continue with this turn and make it go up again probably actually going to go all the way to the other side Hard line like this turn just looks very, very good. And we're going to just make it angle a, a bit down. Then it's, I guess, just going to go down in like a turn that's over 90 degrees. Before I'm probably going to build actually any further, just to be sure, let's test it really quick. But before I do that, let's increase the chain of speed to like 200% and change some of those values. And let's make the train one longer and test it. So up the chain lift. There we go. Let's just go in this POV so we can actually sort of see how the first drop goes, which I hope is all right. And yeah, that's actually pretty nice. And then we have the first inversion into here. Okay. And I think the speed by the looks of things is quite nice. Yes, I, I really like that. Okay, let's continue. We only have, well, six minutes and 40 seconds left. So that's not too much for building the rest of the whole roller coaster. So we definitely have to go quick. What I want to add here, which I'm not sure if it's going to look good, is a barrel wall in some sort. Corkscrew, barrel wall, thingy, whatever you name it. I want to do that here, which maybe is not the smartest. I think it can be fun. So we're just going to do this. We're going to rotate it slightly to the side and just use that to somewhat round. It's definitely not going to be too smooth since, well, we don't have the time to try to make it precise. I think this, that looks cool enough, I would say. And the layout so far seems to be working pretty good. So we're just going to continue with this turn. We're going under the lift hill and we are going to go up again. And I guess then like over here in like a 90 degree. Can I do 90? No, not 90, not minus 90. There we go. And then I want to maybe create a wave turn. And for people 
people that don't know what a wave turn is, it's like it turns slightly goes in like this, just very slightly. And then also when it goes down, it also very slightly. And then it sort of goes in again. I think this can be pretty cool. Not sure how fast it goes through it, but we have added it. And then we're going to continue with this turn all the way on the hair. There we go. And I'm just going to probably continue with this. So we're going to sort of like a half a helix. And where I'm now going to go is a very good question. I guess just try to stay in here. Like we of course have already lost probably some speed. So we don't have unlimited. I don't know what I'm going to add from here, but I do know I'm going to already add the break run since why not? So we're going to have breaks, breaks, breaks. Good enough. So we need to somehow link that part with this part. Okay. So we have less than five minutes now, which ooh, we're already over halfway and we still need to do quite a lot of stuff. Like also, of course, changing the color of the roller coaster. I am probably going to try and make it end to the layout itself. So we're going to add of this cool looking turn. And now I need to go somewhere there. And I think I'm going to be able to do it pretty easy from this point. And now I just, I guess, need to go up. Maybe not going to be perfect how it's going to align, but I don't think I have to do that. Maybe, maybe a little bit. So if I do this, rotate it a little bit back and now connect it. That looks pretty all right. Okay, well, now we have to, of course, while we're in the coast and testing it, see if it actually makes it. I'm scared it's going to go too quick. So let's place a station and exit. And while we're testing it, Let's look at some of the colors. What should I go for? I feel like some orangey color can be actually pretty cool. I don't know why, but I just feel like orange on this coaster. Uh, yes, yes. And let's apply all the orange. Um, I'm going to trice it. I think it's this one. I'm going to make this one darker orange. I hope that's like the base spine. No, that's the track itself, which to be fair also looks pretty cool. So we're going with a pretty good speed through that. That's pretty nice. I'm also going to change the colors of the terrain I'm looking at. It. And I'm just going to press some of these random colors. There we go. Now that we're also going through this, then I think I definitely have to increase the brakes don't I? Oh yes, yes. The brakes do not work correctly. I'm going to increase the chain of speed even a little bit more since that's just a lot of fun. Now we're going up really quickly, which I think is quite nice. And I'm actually really liking this first drop. I think that turned out perfect. And by the looks of things, we make it into the end and we break now. Yes, good enough. I know we have one minute left on the timer, but I think I'm finished. So, and that of course means the POV of the 10 minute roller coaster. And I'm actually pretty happy with this. Of course, well, it took only 9 minutes minutes completely but for what i've built in like these like 10 minutes i am pretty proud of this so we have this very steep drop which like rotates which is very cool then we have this sort of stall ish dive loop or in moment of however you want to call it we have this overbank turn into this actually quite smooth barrel roll for how much time i spent on it then we have this wave turn which not really a wave turn but it also is at the same time and then we have just that helix into this sort of quick turn but as you can see we've already lost quite a lot of speed into the brakes and then back into the station now i think that is a pretty decent roller coaster for 10 minutes but i know i can do a lot better so let's go to the one hour coaster for the one hour, let's actually make a extreme lounge roller coaster. So we're actually going to use probably some multiple lounges, which I think can be pretty cool. My main inspiration is probably going to be like Abyssus in Poland in Energylandia, which starts with like a very small pre-lounge, which I actually really like. So we're going to add like a lounge that's really long. I think that's pretty good. And straight from the bed, we're going to use Pivot Offset 3 just to make it a little bit easier since we, of course, do have an hour, but that's still not unlimited time. And as you can see, when I add Pivot Offset, it just yeah, sort of automatically Automatically makes it smooth for me, which is quite nice. So what I'm going to be doing actually go up like this And we of course have well, Unlimited room for the roller coaster. So we're going to go up and we're going to turn to the side But I'm actually going to turn it then outer banked which trust me. It's going to feel weird It's going to look weird, but I think this can look pretty cool and hopefully gives a nice feeling. Of course, we won't know how it feels in real life since sadly the coasters we built in the game we cannot really ride, which is sad, but that's of course reality. I think this can be pretty cool. Then just sort of continues with the turn and I'm definitely going to be testing this roller coaster a lot of times since I do want this to be quite, not well, try to make it as perfect as possible, but whatever I can do the best. And I think adding like an airtime hill that's sort of here, like this part here, here should be very like playful with what it does so we're definitely going to try and do that and my goal is to launch it right underneath there which is going to be quite difficult with the ballroom i have 
And also, I, I, we don't have unlimited speed, but that's a very short and small launch. You know, this turn just a little bit, but make it go less. And then we're just going to reset this, make that go straight. And I think that is a pretty nice start of the roller coaster. Probably just, yeah, just a lot of boosts. I'm not sure how many I should use, but before we're actually going to continue, let's just test this. I think it's going to go maybe too quick through this. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit. Very nice turns. We have like an S band, and then you go into that launch, and there you go, all the way to whatever there is going to be. From what I can see is that it definitely needs to be a little bit less, so we're going to try 80%. And if you compare it to what I've now built in four minutes to what I've built for the 10 minute coaster, it is a lot less. Now this definitely looks a lot better. I might make it a little bit quicker. Okay, let me just very quickly build this part since I have a very cool idea that I want to show you guys. So it is going to be like one of these Fakoma top hats, which you see a lot actually around, which I really like. Then the drop itself is probably going to be more than 90 degrees. So we're just going to like move it like that. Yes, there we go. And then it's going to go straight here again, all the way to the bottom of the floor. There we go. And oh, I just I just love like the shaping of this. It's very weird, but just like this last bomb just goes up a little bit higher. And I hope it's actually going to make it with this lamp. So let's have a look if it's actually actually going to make it so all of these turns we of course already seen which is quite nice and then we're going to go in here and let's just pray it's going to be able to make that or maybe it even goes too quick and it's okay it's definitely going too quick but that's that's nice that it's going too quick that means i can add some breaks or some other things to this and i wouldn't even be surprised if it now doesn't make it but actually still going too quick oh no okay let's see what it now does now yeah that actually seems a lot better with what it does and then we are at the bottom and then we continue with the layout but i'm going to be doing that in the form of a time lapse Around 25 minutes on the clock, I have finished this roller coaster and it is quite big as you can see. It has multiple inversions. It has an inversion which I don't have really seen ever on a roller coaster. I don't know what I've made, but it's whatever this is. Maybe you guys in the comments know what this inversion is called. Or maybe it's an inversion that doesn't exist yet, but it's like you go upside down into like you stay upside down and then you rotate back, but very high off the ground, very weirdly shaped. It looks very cool. Of course, we have the first lounge and we have this sort of, again, an Immel man. We have this sort of corkscrew and then we have like the end course break run. But after that, you still have like this ending part, which I think is super cool after like you have breakdown just a little bit. And it's just a very big roller coaster and it looks amazing from just multiple angles. The angle that you like look from here, you can see the coaster of course go really nicely down. And of course also where like this last part of the roller coaster, I think if you make like a path like right here and you can see the coaster like going <laughs> at the end like that, I just really like these things where like are the wrong way around turn but you guys don't care all about that the thing you guys of course want to see is the pov so let's have a look
And there we go, that was the POV. And I'm just actually really happy with this roller coaster. Of course, it's not 100% perfect. There are like a few parts where it maybe goes a little bit too quick through, but I think in the end, it turned out really nice. This inversion here is definitely my favorite. Let me know in the comments what I should call it or what it is called. But that is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe on my channel. We're almost at 250,000 subscribers. So if you haven't, go do it right now. So guys, I will say as always, good bye.